Hi everyone, welcome to Grammar Series. This is our second session. You can find the first session here. So today we are going to work on am, is, are, but this time we are going to work on the question and negative forms. Let's get started. So we are going to work on am, is, are. These are called to be verbs. Okay, to be verbs. Am, is, are. The previous session we worked on I, he, she, it, we, you, they. They are our subject pronouns. And we said we use I and along with I, we can say I am. Okay, so he, he is, she, she is, it, it is, we, we are, you, you are, they, they are, okay? So we worked on the affirmative sentences, but today we are going to work on negative sentences. How to form the negative sentences using am, is, are, and our subject pronouns. So pay attention to this box, okay? In this box, you can see I, okay? Here again, am, but in order to make it negative, we have not. So we should put not after am, is, are to make a negative sentence, to create a negative sentence here. I am not, okay? So here, he is not, she is not, it is not, okay? So take a look at this marker. It is a marker. It isn't a pen. It is not a pen, okay? It is not. So, I am a teacher. I am not a doctor. So, that's it. Let's go. We are not. You are not. And they are not. So, uh, there's no one here, okay? I can say, they are not here. So, I'm talking about my family. They are not here, like this. So, let's go to the contraction or short forms. Now, we said, I am not. The short form is, I'm not. I'm not, okay? So, I'm not. But uh, if you just want to say that quickly, you can say, I'm not. So next is, he is not, okay? He's not, or he isn't. He's not, or he isn't. So here, not is much more emphatic and strong. He's not my friend, okay? Like this, or he isn't my friend. This is not very emphatic. So let's go to this part. She is not, and the contraction or short form is she's not, or she isn't. It is not, okay? So it's not, or it isn't. So both forms are possible. We use the contraction forms in speaking, okay? It can make us really fluent. So let's go to the next set, the plural ones, okay? We are not, and the short form, we are not, or we aren't. Next, you are not, you're not, or you aren't. Next is they, okay? They are not, they are not, or they aren't. So these are all about the negative sentences. And I said I made some examples, but let's go for more examples. Now, let's turn to our examples. Okay, here. I am not, or I'm not a nurse. I'm not a nurse. I'm a teacher. So I'm not a nurse, I'm a teacher. So the second example, James. So, James here is a man. He, okay? He isn't a teacher or James isn't a teacher. He's 
a student. So James isn't a teacher, he's a student. Now, next negative form is for Jane. Jane is a woman or girl. She. She isn't or Jane isn't patient at all. So Jane is really bad tempered. She isn't patient at all. Now next is her house. Her house, okay, the house one. So it refers to it. Her house isn't near here. So it means her house is far. And Anna and I. Anna and I. Anna and I. Okay, together. We. Okay, so Anna and I aren't friends. Or we aren't friends. Next, you. For you, you aren't serious. Okay, you aren't serious or you aren't serious. Both are correct. It can be used as singular and plural form. So let's go to the next. My keys. My keys. We are talking about the stuff, okay, or things, but these things are plural. So it means they, okay, so we are talking about they. They aren't in my bag. My keys aren't in my bag. Okay, for instance, we can say they are on the table or they are on the desk. My keys aren't in my bag. And the last example, they, okay, about the people. They aren't Canadian. They are Australian. So we are talking about people's nationalities. So they aren't Canadian, they're Australian. For instance, I'm talking about my friends. So these were the examples about the negative forms. Let's go to the practice. Now, let's practice. Now, there is our friend here, okay? Our friend's name is Sam, okay? Let's go. And we are gonna make some negative sentences here. Let's get started. Now you see Sam. Sam is talking, okay? Sam says, I hungry, but I'm thirsty. So Sam needs water, but he doesn't need food, okay? So I am not hungry or I'm not hungry. Now, next part. He. Bold. Bold means a person who has no hair, okay? But as you can see, Sam has hair. Okay, you can see that. So, let's go. He isn't bold. He isn't bold. He has hair. So let's go. Now, Sam says a sentence here. I think, Sam says, okay, I think the bird, I think the bird, okay, wild. So wild animal like lion, okay, like tiger. They are wild animals. But here says, I think the bird, okay, so the bird refers to it, okay? Here, isn't. So, I think the bird isn't wild. Now, next, Jack and Sue. Jack and Sue, two people, okay? Here, Jack, and here she's Sue. Jack and Sue, my siblings. Siblings means sister and brother, okay? Sister and brother, a group of sisters and brothers. But here it says, no, okay? So, Jack and Sue, 
they. So we should say they aren't. Jack and Sue aren't my siblings. Now uh, they are his friends. Okay, so let's go. Sue, tall. You see that Sam and Jack are tall, but Sue is short. So let's go. Sue, she, okay, isn't tall. Sue isn't tall. Now, Jack overweight. So, take a look at Jack. Jack is really fit, okay? So, Jack, he isn't overweight. Jack isn't overweight. He is fit. Overweight means fat. Okay? So, let's go. We. They are talking about themselves. Okay? We neighbors. We neighbors. But we are friends. So, we aren't neighbors. Or we are not neighbors. Okay? So, we are not neighbors, but we are friends. Now, they are talking about these two chairs, okay? You see two chairs, and they are commenting on these two chairs. Here they say, the chairs, okay? The chairs. They. Comfortable at all. The chairs aren't comfortable at all. So that was the end of our practice for negative forms. Now it's time to turn to the question forms of M is R to be verbs. Let's go. So the affirmative forms, you remember that, okay? I am, he is, she is, it is. We are, you are, and they are. So, how about the question forms? If we want to ask questions, how should we ask that? Okay, how should we form it actually? Only you need to swap their places, change their places. That's it, okay? So, let's go. If here you have subject pronouns, here in question forms, you will have M is R. And if here there are M is R, here you will have subject pronouns. So we change or swap their places. Let's go. Am I? This is a question form. Am I? Okay, so am I your teacher? Or am I your student? Next, is he? Is he your brother? Is she? Is she your sister? Is it? Is it your bag? Are we? Are we your class? Are you? Are you tired? Are they? Are they your friends? So, these were the question forms. Now, let's go for more examples. Now, here are our examples. Let's go and have an analytic look into them. So let's go. Am I late? So I am late. Question form. Am I late? Ms. Brown. Okay, Ms. Brown. She. So is she or is Ms. Brown your teacher? Is Ms. Brown your teacher or is she your teacher? Okay, so, or uh, in an affirmative form, you can say, Ms. Brown is my teacher. Let's go. Is James there? You can say, James is there. But the question form, is James there? And next is, is your mother? Your mother, again, is she 
do not just make a mistake because of your, okay? Your mother, she. So, is your mother home? Is your mother home? Or affirmative form, my mother is home. Next, are your parents home? Your parents, S, okay? So, here it shows, this is they. Are they or are your parents home? And next, is it cold in your room? Is it cold? We are talking about the weather, okay? The weather condition. Or you can say, it is cold in my room, okay? Affirmative sentence, question form. Is it cold in your room? Now next, are you angry with me? Are you angry with me? Or affirmative form. I am angry with you. So question, are you angry with me? And the last but not least, are my keys, my keys, a group of things, okay? So it means they. Are my keys on the desk? So I ask my mom, are my keys on the desk? Okay, so like this. That was all about the examples. Let's go to our practice. Now, in this part, we are gonna figure out what Liz and David are talking about and what type of questions are they making. So, let's help them continue and complete their questions. So here, Liz asks, what's your name? Okay, and David says, David. So, let's go to this question. Married. So, Liz asks David. So, how should we ask about you, okay? So, we should say, are you married? And David answers, no, I'm not. Okay. So, here, again, Liz asks another question about David's car, okay? So, let's go. Your car. So, car here is it. Okay, it. And the question form for it is it. So, is it your car? And David answers, yes, it is. So, let's go to the next question about the box. Okay, so here... David asks, okay, after saying yes, it is, David asks, your box. Okay, you see box here. So, we should say, they. For they, we use are. Are they your box? So, are they your box? And Liz answers, yes, they are. And Liz comes up with another question, okay? In the just uh, following part of the dialogue and asks a question about David's mom. Take a look at the answer. Yes, my mom is a French teacher. Okay, so here let's complete the question. Teacher here. So for your mom, you should just write your mom here. Your mom is she, okay? Is your mom a teacher here? Okay, so is your mom a here? It is missing, so let's go. Is your mom a teacher here? Yes, my mom is a French teacher. So they asked and answered these questions. That was all about the practice part. That's the end of our second session. See you.